We all know that last words are important. The last words my mother spoke to my father as he held her hand on her deathbed were these, I'll see you. We engrave those words on my mother's tombstone. The last words my father spoke to my mother in response to her as she was dying were these, I'll be there. We put those words on his tombstone. It was a great witness to their confidence in life eternal and heaven as our home. Last words are important. The last words Jesus spoke to his disciples were these, go into all the world and preach the gospel to all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, teaching them to observe all things whatsoever I've commanded you, and lo, I'm with you always, even to the end of the age. Those were the marching orders for the Christian church. We call those words the Great Commission. Nearly 2,000 years have passed since Jesus spoke those words, and yet uh, almost a third of the world's population, some two billion people, have not yet heard and had the opportunity to respond to the gospel of Jesus Christ. It's past time for the church, especially for the local church, to begin to appropriate the meaning and respond with passion to this great commission. In order to do so, I believe that the church has to make a rather giant change in its understanding of who she is. We normally see ourselves really as come to congregations. We order our life, our worship, the Sunday school, we set up different programs in order to attract people to come to us. I believe we must move from that kind of mindset to a go-to mindset. We must cease being come to congregations and become go to congregations. 36 million Americans, almost 14% of the population, live in poverty. Are we going to them? 70 million Americans are under 18 years of age. Are we going to them? Nearly 1 million foreign born people immigrate to America every year. Are we going? to them. 32 million people in America speak some language other than English as their primary language. Are we going to them? 172 million Americans are unsaved or unchurched. Are we going to them? Now those statistics about America should be the impetus for us to begin to look not just at America, but to look at the whole world because the world is our parish, and congregations must begin to see themselves as those who participate in fulfilling the Great Commission. Now, we need to remember that we don't do this within our own power or with our own resources. The promise of Jesus is, Lo, I'm with you always, even to the end of the age. So we don't do it alone. We do it in partnership with the living Christ and in the power of the Holy Spirit.